Mike, oh, screen yeah, slam. Screen slam. Nice. Two M's at the end of slam or one M? Slam. slam. Just one. Okay. Slam. First slam. off, I just want to say, okay, don't think it's the wrong way, but uh, I like this. I like this already. Uh, sir. Watching the I movie, like this already. Watching the movie kind of reminded me of like a, a student film, but like a <laughs> really, really oh, good yeah. one. Like, a really yeah. good one. I don't know. It just felt like you guys just kind of like one if day over by the weekend. Student, you mean a mm. student mm. idea? Perfection. And just mm. like put it all together. I mean, what was, what was the approach? To we filmmaking? shot it as part of a forty-eight film, forty-eight <coughs> hour, hour film, film festival. festival. <laughs> uh, we had forty-eight hours to film and cast. It was extra and credit. We, um, we ended up getting a B plus, but. Yeah. In our defense, the other students did a war film. Maybe you've seen it called Apocalypse Now. <laughs> we were, yeah. It, it was, was, yeah. We made this a long time ago. We've been holding it, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the right January yeah. 15th release yeah. date. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I'm picking up what you're saying. You're, you're, you're saying that the 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 it fun, didn't like a huge the whimsy, production, but it was just very like the ideas just thrown in. But the acting and the story was just so great that everything just it, it was you know it was perfect. <laughs> it really Thank well. you. Yeah. Uh, there, this definitely uh, was not like a student film, uh, in that it's something that we've lived with for like a long for a long time, trying to figure out you know this story, the script, the whole thing, and we definitely like you know there was a lot of planning that went into it, and uh, and and wanting to make it feel like a a big cinematic epic sort of movie, almost like a Goonies for Grown Ups type of thing, where it is Grown Ups, it is very funny, it, it can feel almost like. The idea of Tom and Huck as grown-ups, uh, you know, and small-time criminals could feel almost like a, a bit or something. But we wanted to treat it very cinematically and and uh, do it that way. Yeah. And hey, Matthew, I want to talk about your character, uh, Joe, a little bit. Um, this guy is just super loyal. Where does that loyalty come from? And handsome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also say that. Handsome. Say super loyal, super handsome. Super loyal, super handsome. Very no, funny. I, so thank charismatic. You. Thank you. Yeah. No. The the fun thing about playing Joe Harper is playing a sort of. Uh, daft character who will blindly follow a charismatic leader like Tom Sawyer. And it's kind of like my relationship with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> when they yeah. called me to the Anna Student film shoot, I was there day one. It's like, you know, it's, you get that credit, right? It's something yeah. about... Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. extra credit. Yeah. It's extra credit. Yeah. No, there, it was a lot of fun to play, and yeah. And can we talk about the other students in the film, <laughs> the yeah. other cast members? How did yeah. you, you wrangle all these guys together, these familiar funny, talented characters. Um, yeah, we were so lucky. Uh, Hannibal was somebody that we knew we wanted in that part the whole time, and, and so we, we just kind of tracked him down and, and got a meeting with him, and, uh, and he agreed to do it before the movie was even financed. Goobler and Hannibal were the first two people on, and we've known Matthew for a while. Uh, but then, you know, we had a great casting director, John McLary, and he brought great ideas, and Matthew brought us ideas from people he'd worked with on other student films. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And so uh, it just ended up becoming this like perfect mix of uh, old friends and new people that were just like brilliant, fit into the movie perfectly. And I, I, initially, I didn't recognize Stephen Lang in this uh, in this character. How, can you talk about how uh, bringing him in and how talking to that character and all about that? He, uh, we had actually, uh, we didn't imagine we would be able to get. Somebody with the stature of, of Stephen Lang, and we had. We thought it was just gonna be a bunch of Matthew Good Gooblers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a yeah. terrible movie that would be. <laughs> uh, but uh, he, uh, we, we had we had uh, actually cast somebody else for that part, and r at the last minute it it fell through, and so we were you know, already shooting and stuck without our engine Joe, and he really surprised us and stepped in and saved the day. And, and it had, you know, had, because it was so last minute, there was very little time for him to prepare, and he just transformed himself yeah. instantly. Uh, it, it just the cotton in the mouth. I was yeah, right down like, to right yeah. down to little details like you yeah, stuffing he up his toilet paper yeah. up his nose to flatten his nose out because that was the character description and he wanted to change the way he looked and he's I don't know cut the tip of his penis off yeah. <laughs> for no apparent reason I don't he know why. but well, it no works something why. about it works yeah I wish it had done yeah. it in front of us <laughs> um, he it, he's one of those actors I don't know if you would classify him as a method actor he he could tell you better than me but he is one of those people who becomes so immersed in the character and on set he's immersed in that character uh, he doesn't really break out of it I and mean, it's fascinating and it's fun to work with somebody like that uh, which also interesting and Goobler mentioned mentions this a lot is that it is this crazy mix of 
actors on this movie where there's people like Johnny Pemberton or Hannibal or even me and Goobler who lean more towards comedy and then there's people like Stephen Lang who's basically a method actor and Kyle Gallner who's very similar yeah. and it still all worked and it was still an amazing environment to, for all those people working together. And lastly, I got one more question. It's kind of a fun one. If each of you came across a buried treasure, what is the one, what's the best possible thing you could find in? Your hair. <laughs> Your hair is a lot better than mine. Thanks. It's a toupee. <laughs> it is. <laughs> what, what, what would it, what uh, it be? Boy. If each of you guys came across a treasure, what's the best possible thing you could find in there? Maybe some good, like, short scripts to do for, like, student films. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have started off with that. That would be my favorite lead. My favorite one until that one was yesterday some interviewers saw a clip, and the first thing he said was, how am I supposed to feel about that? <laughs> but it was trumped by your movies like a student film. That was not supposed to be an insult anyway. It was no, I think so it's a compliment, man. Are there, like, what's, you, what's your favorite student film? <laughs> Do you mean like Lunch Date? Like the good, like the yeah. one, like, like Todd Salon student film? Yeah, or like, Robb is up yeah. there now. Okay, okay. top of those. It's like the, the best student film. <laughs> what would the class one. that it was made for be? Yeah, is what it like class? a, is it like a, I mean, is it like a literature <laughs> class or is it like a film class? No, it would be for a, Honestly, like, I, I like thought like it was like an movie. English class. Yeah. It's, it's oh, like, okay. so it's very, it's very you're like, uh, yeah. I see yeah. what you're yeah. saying. I get what you're putting down there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah, I, <laughs> if I, you know, yeah, I, uh, if I was looking at a treasure chest, I would, uh, hope to find that guy singing <laughs> whatever's going on back there. Uh. I, you know, I, I think I would just, I'll, I'll take the gold. <laughs> Straight up treasure. <laughs> yeah. I need treasure. money. Can you just say money? Yeah, you yeah. can. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be kind of boring, though. I, <laughs> you know what? I, I would want my grandfather back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for bringing it down.